This video is sponsored by Dubby Jitterless Energy Blend. Click on the link in the description and use the code PACKERMAN to save 10% on any order. Welcome in to this edition of The Fuel, where in this episode we're going to be talking about the absolute disaster that was the 2023 Goodyear 400 at the Darlington Raceway. First off, what I want to know is what the fuck are these fans thinking? Because on Jeff Gluck's poll, this race got an 83.4% voted yes on if this was a good race or not. And I just want to know, what the fuck are you people smoking? I mean, seriously. This race was trash. Like, literally almost nothing of note fucking happened during this race, other than what happened at the end, which I'll get to in a minute. But, for a large majority of the first part of this race, it was boring as fuck. In fact, I, at one point, fell asleep during the first portion of the race, woke up about a half an hour later, and noticed that the running order hadn't changed one bit. So, in essence, I hadn't missed a goddamn thing. So, I'm honestly wondering, where was the good racing, people? Where was it? That's one thing. But obviously, the biggest takeaway from this race was what happened between Ross Chastain and Kyle Larson with six laps to go. And all the craziness that ensued. Basically, within the final 10 laps. So, let's take a look at the stats before we get into this. There were 19 lead changes overall. Bear in mind, that's only one more than the Xfinity race was at half the distance. Three pure lead changes, seven caution flags, most of which happened in the third stage, go figure. 1,667 green flag passes, which ended up at only averaging 6.7 per green flag lap. If that fucking tells you anything. And then Truex, he led 145 laps. I mean, he basically stunk up the first part of this race. Basically, the first half of this race was all Truex. So that's one reason why this race sucks. But now let's talk about all the shit that happened at the end of this race. Because one thing I will agree with is that Chastain, I think he needs to dial it back just a little wee bit. I'm not saying that he has to do a complete fucking 180, but he definitely needs to dial it back a bit because this is the fourth straight week where he's been involved in something. And some of that, not really his own fault. It's just other people being idiots. In this case, I think he was a little bit too aggressive which is in his nature, going up against another guy and Kyle Larson, who's also aggressive, and, well, you have what, ha what you have. So, does he deserve some criticism for that? Absolutely. Absolutely does, because he had a shot to win that race, and I think he had a car good enough to win that race, and he kind of lost it on himself. So, uh, you could definitely put part of the blame on Chastain in that situation. Absolutely. But, don't get it fucking twisted, okay? Because let's not fucking pretend like a lot of you people are that Kyle Larson is the fucking patron saint in this situation because he's not, okay? Let's not forget that literally the previous fucking restart or uh, before 
and this restart that I'm talking about where Chastain uh, went, went up the track to try to squeeze Larson and basically wreck, wreck them both. Let's not forget that Larson tried to do the exact same fucking thing the previous restart where he squeezed Chastain into the wall. And then right behind them, Truex basically did the same thing that Chastain did, except he went up into Joey Logano and it caused a huge pileup. Where's the fucking heat on Truex for that? Huh? That's what I want to fucking know. I swear to God, the double standards from you fucking assholes is just sickening. It makes me want to fucking puke. So we're just going to grill Chastain for doing the exact same thing that Truex did the previous restart. Yeah, Truex doesn't get heat for it. Fuck off. I don't even want to hear that shit. And like I said, let's not pretend like Larson is not a fucking patron saint. Because he's done similar shit in the past where he's put people on the wall. And yet it's okay when he fucking does it. And by the way, Cliff Daniels and Rick Hendrick are a bunch of fucking pussy ass, bitch made motherfuckers. Because Cliff Daniels was bitching on the radio. Oh, we got Rick my chest in again. Fuck off. Okay? You just seem to conveniently forget that your guy did the exact same fucking thing the previous restart. We're just going to fucking pretend like that didn't happen. Fuck yourself, Daniels. And Rick Hendrick is a fucking bitch, too. Because he was on the media saying, Oh, yeah, uh, Shastain better watch out because we're going to give it back. And, you know, and I, I, there's no question that he was talking to Chevrolet because about all this fucking shit and be, basically being a little pussy because, um... Justin Marks basically went on the record saying that they had to talk to Chastain about maybe dialing it back quite a bit. There was no question that Rick Hendrick uh, got on the word, get on the horn with Chevy, and was basically saying, "Hey, you need to, you know, put a muzzle on this guy, or we're going to do it for you." Rick Hendrick is a fucking cocksucker. Okay, I mean, let's not forget that this is the same fucking team that has had all these penalties uh, this season. Uh, had a 100 point penalty thrown at him for four different fucking cars and they were lucky that they got that taken off but then they had uh, greenhouse violations on two more of their cars literally weeks later I mean this guy's a fucking just jack off he really is so Rick Hendrick and Cliff Daniels they can go do a 69 in each other and go fuck themselves that's what I think And then, on top of that, we even had a fucking scoring snafu. Yeah. Because apparently, there were some cars that were involved in this wreck, this big wreck that Truex started, where uh, apparently the rule is, or is supposed to be, if you're involved in a wreck, you're not supposed, you're, you're supposed to, you're, be, you're supposed to be put where you blend. And if you avoid the wreck, then you should get your spot back. Well, apparently, there were several cars that were involved in this wreck that were placed in front of cars that weren't involved in the wreck. Can anyone explain to me how that's fucking fair? Hmm? Doesn't seem like that should be the way to go. So on top of all this fucking bullshit, we got a scoring snafu on top of that. Oh, and we had an overtime finish, and it was shit. Because William Byron takes advantage of the whole thing had Harvick on his uh on his door Harvick had damage though so Byron was able to take advantage and once he got clear of Harvick that was all she wrote the race was pretty much over at that point like I mean how the fuck do you even call this a good race honestly how when, when you have all this fucking bullshit. But then again, this is... I mean, what else do you expect from NASCAR so far this year? Okay. I'm honestly getting 2015 vibes from this year. That's what I'm getting. This entire season has sucked ass so far. It really has. 
There have been very few bright spots this year. I mean, it's only the middle of May, and I'm already ready for this season to be fucking done. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm honestly considering calling this season a loss and getting ready for next year. That's how bad the fucking racing has been. That's how fuck, I mean, that's how fucking stupid this season has been. You know, instead of the on-track product being the big story, it's all this fucking bullshit going on behind the scenes that has been the story of the season for NASCAR. And that's not the way it should be. So, no. A lot of people might like this race. I certainly fucking don't. This race can eat a dick. I mean, fuck this race. I'm done. I'm moving on to the next one. So, this might piss some people off, but I really don't fucking care at this point. My final rating for this race is a zero. Fuck this race. When you come out of a race feeling this fucking frustrated, there's no way you can give it points. So, some of y'all might like that, but ask me if I fucking care. Here's a news flash for you. I don't. So don't even bother wasting your fucking time typing it out comments on, you know, YouTube and all that other shit because I don't fucking care. Okay? So don't waste your fucking time. I'm not going to change my opinion because you get salty over it. I mean, I don't fucking care. I'm not going to change my opinion, so don't waste your fucking time. I'm done with this fucking shit. Shit needs to fucking change. And I'm serious. Because I'm sick and tired of the fucking shit shows that we've been getting. But I'm done. See you at the next episode. Fuck this race. What's happening ladies and germs thank you for watching tonight's video if you're interested in sponsoring the channel there is a link to my patreon down in the description box below otherwise hit like and subscribe if you want to continue watching great content like you saw today thank you very much for watching and until next time this is the packer man signing out